In this video, you will learn exactly how to get into ketosis, the body's fat burning machine mode. Perhaps you think all you have to do is eat a very low carb diet. Well, that's often true, but it's easy to regularly eat something with carbs in it by mistake. So how can you be sure that you don't? Plus, there are few things besides carbs that affect ketosis. But no worries. After watching this video, you will know all you need to know. There are seven things to think about. And before you start worrying, seven things, we are going to start with the most important ones. Then perhaps you will only need to do the first and possibly the second thing. The rest of the steps are optional for fine tuning. Number one, most importantly, restrict carbs to below 20 grams per day. Some people may be able to handle slightly more carbs and still be in ketosis. It's a bit individual, but below 20 is a very effective level. So how much food is that? Use our visual guide link to find out or simply use our keto recipes and meal plans. They are designed to keep you under 20 gram per day with no counting required. Quite often, just restricting carbs to very low levels results into ketosis, so this may be all you need to do. But the rest of the list will help make sure that you are successful. Number two, restrict protein to moderate levels. A keto diet is a moderate protein diet where you eat the protein you need, but not so much more, because large amounts of excess protein is converted to glucose in the body, reducing ketosis. But this don't happen below 2.5 to 3 gram. So go for 2 gram because we want to make sure to keep your muscles. Try to take 2 gram of protein per kilogram of body weight per day. Also check your urine. As long the color is light and not dark, you are probably hydrated well enough and you don't eat too much protein. Many will tell you now, too much protein will be converted into carbs. That's not true. For that, you have to be above 3 grams and even not everybody will experience that in this range. Our goal is to reduce fat, not valuable muscle mass. So make sure that eat 2 gram protein per kilogram body weight. Number three, eat enough fat to feel satisfied after a meal. This is the main difference between a keto diet and starvation. Starvation, where you avoid fat and carbs, that is not sustainable. You will eventually get tired and hungry and give up. But the keto diet is sustainable and can make you feel great indefinitely. So eat enough fat to feel satisfied. And if you feel hungry all the time, you should probably add more fat to your meals, like more butter, more olive oil, etc. Again, our recipes are designed to be high enough in fat. Number four, only eat when you are hungry. Avoid snacking, eating more often than you need. Just eating for fun or because it's tasty or because there is food around reduces ketosis and slows down weight loss. You may even push it a little bit into number five, intermittent fasting. For example, skip breakfast. Eat only during eight hours of the day, fasting for the other 16 hours. This is usually easy to do on keto and effectively boosts ketone levels while accelerating weight loss and type 2 diabetes reversal among other things. Number six, exercise. It boosts ketone levels a bit and it may increase weight loss and type 2 diabetes reversal slightly. Exercise is not necessary to get into ketosis, but it can be helpful as a bonus. Finally, number seven, sleep enough. For most people, at least seven hours per night on average and keep stress under control because sleep deprivation and stress hormones rises blood sugar levels, slowing ketosis and weight loss. Plus, 
they make it much harder to stick to your chosen diet and resist temptations. Handling sleep and stress will not get you into ketosis on its own, but it's still worth thinking about, and that's it. Toes were all the seven things that matter for ketosis. Note what is not there. You likely do not need fancy expensive supplements like MCT oil or ketone supplements. This will not help you lose weight or reverse disease. There is no evidence for that. All these ketone supplements might do is possibly improve mental and physical performance for a short time, like an hour possibly. So I'm not saying don't buy them. Perhaps you do want to try them yourself, see how they make you feel. But you certainly don't need them to be successful on keto. And they are probably for most people a waste of money. I would suggest using that money to buy great keto food instead. Real food instead of hyped products or just save your money. In conclusion, here is a quick repeat of the seven steps to ketosis. Restrict carbs, moderate protein, two gram per kilogram body weight, enough fat, avoid snacking, perhaps add intermittent fasting, perhaps some exercising, and number seven, sleep enough. Most of all, TOF is about restricting carbs to 20 grams or less per day. That's by far the most important thing. The next video is about how to know you are in ketosis. How do you know that it's working? There are two ways. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. If you have any questions, comment below, give me a like and just follow me to don't miss one of my videos on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. To your success, your health and wealth mentor.